Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn today, and today we're going to try and get our water level up one higher. But as you can see right now, we've got a bit of a problem. We are completely out of trees and nowhere to cut them. So we're going to have to sacrifice some resources so that we can get down to some more trees to let us get more trees and then eventually build our wall in here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to turn this down to the very lowest setting. We're going to sacrifice a couple of these. And I believe this is already set up to the highest. We're going to set this up to the second highest. Here we go. That can go up. And this will also go up. I need a path that goes through here. There we go. And now they should... Should... Be able to pull in some more trees for us, hopefully. Speaking of resources, our food is not doing that great. Our kohlrabi crop is down because we flooded this area, which is our main area for that. However, the river's back in its normal bed, so I'm going to go ahead and put in some kohlrabis here. We're going to do some cassavas. There we go. Some in there. Right now, we've got them harvesting what's going to dry out as soon as possible, so we can just keep our food going there. We don't really have anything in the way of cassavas to process, so we can probably stop these. Tell those guys to go do something else, anything else at this point. And we're going to come down uh, this way. Let's get some stairs so we can get down here as well. And once we get down there, we'll set up a lumberjack flag there. Over here, they've got to cut that out of there, which they're doing right now. All right. Good job there, beavers. Come on. Get out of there. Let's go. Come on. You can do it. You've been gnawing on that tree all night. There you go. Now we should have some logs flowing in. And we'll go ahead and replace these two as well. But we're going to also set those to the lowest. Because we don't need those right away. We will when this place starts to flood. And i got to move all this stuff up. But that's going to be a little bit of time. In the meantime though. I'm going to go ahead and set out a couple of the... Uh, dams that we're going to need, or I guess the levees that we're going to need, and get those going here. Let's see. Oh, you've got a tree there. Okay, get the tree and then go back up, and there you go. Now let's get rid of all of that, and we'll see what we're doing here. Uh, technically, I only need one here, so let's go from this side. And those are normal priority, but I would like to put them as slightly lower. There we go. So that everything else gets done first. I'm going to have to take these out of here so we still have a way up. And then I'll put some levees in there. Let's see if we can get some in here. And again, we'll say those are slightly lower for now. Day one, looks like all the bad water is out, so we need to let the water back out here. Or let the water back in, I guess. And that will flood a lot of this. But really, that's not a big deal. It's kind of what we're going for. I forgot a couple of the levees back here, so let's make sure we get those in. That'll have to come around here. We'll have to get some in there. Need one here. And we will probably put one here and here for now. We'll need stairs so that they can upgrade this. Speaking of which, let's see if we've got the stuff for that. Yep, we got the science, so we should be able to upgrade those. In fact, what do I have in the way of... We might just get started on that. Uh, let's do... Yep, let's just get them done. We will... Take the chance here. There we go. And we will say these are the most important. That I won't need until I get this other gate in here. This is very important. 
and these are of slightly lower importance. I want these gates to get in here, just in case we have another bad water. We can lock it all out, just like we have been. And then we need to get these just to make sure they don't uh, come back. Oh, we've got a couple of guys that don't have anything to do. Well, let's fix that. There we go. All that can go. All this can go. Yep, that can go. All this. Don't know how we'll get to those, but we'll figure it out. All those can go. This guy's just sitting there because the water level's not up high enough yet. What do we need here? A couple of planks, a couple of logs. Hopefully, we can get those in the next at least three days. That way, we're, we'd at least be safe from any bad tides that might or might not come in. I notice we've got a couple of trees down here, so we might as well go ahead and grab those as well. We'll go ahead and put in a road here. Something like this. Let's say you can go there. And that should work just fine. Oh, we are out of food. Let me pause for a second. Let's grab some berries. Um, I've got a couple things to ferment. There we go. We'll get those fermented and hopefully... That keeps our resources up. I also think I need just remove. Let's just remove that one for now. We'll put some stairs in here and then hopefully this guy will be able to get these berries as well. I'm going to go ahead and put in some berry gatherers anywhere I can see they should be able to get to berries. For example, uh, over here. What do we got coming in? Oh, it's a drought. Okay. Well, I guess that's better than bad water when this isn't quite done yet. We'll say that's the most important. Let's... Can I move this? I'm going to move this. You guys are just going to have to live with it for a second. We'll do this. And let's get some food in here. Berries to grab all those. And then I need another set of stairs up here to get to all of that, which I do have marked to cut. So we're all set. Do both of those. There we go. Oh, and they've got this in there. So we should have a path down to those as well. I'm gonna go ahead, put my stairs in here, run a path to here and here, and then we'll get rid of these just as soon as we can. I don't think think the water is going to make it up any higher this time, but we should have plenty of extra. I'm going to go ahead and plan ahead and try and get a couple more stairs in here so that they can get to various locations, get all of these trees out of there eventually. Let's see, we'll put one there and how about one here and that should give us access to the top as they clear some of this. So this, 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 and this. We've got all of this. All of that. Now we just need to wait for them to come through here and chop down some more trees. I'm going to go ahead and set up a second farm just temporarily. I'm going to put it down here. I know it's going to get washed out, but I'm not that worried about it if we can get at least some food from it to keep us from starving that is definitely going to be better than no food at all from it this will all be going away eventually so i'm not that worried about it they've got enough of the trees out of here i can at least put levees of course this little one just cropped up there so let's just say let's get rid of that and we'll put our levee there so we'll have at least one side completely done now we just need to work on the other two sides. Getting up there, I think I'm going to have to put in. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Get these in there. This one I definitely don't need. This one I only need because I need to get to the rest of these. But I'm just going to put both of them in there because it looks a little nicer. Noticing a couple of our beavers are outdoors at the moment. So 
I'm going to just go ahead and unlock the row house. Pretty much everything here is temporary at the moment. So one row house hopefully gets the job done for however many more beavers that we decide to get in here. Well, we didn't have quite enough to make it to the end of the drought uh, with everything here above water, but I think once we get the next row in, we should be pretty safe all around. I'm not too worried about food, at least at the moment. We've got plenty of water, plenty of food going on, so we'll just keep an eye on it. Our... Levy is about done. We've got most of this in. I do need one more block right here. Just in case of... It looks like it needs to go the other way. There we go. Just in case of bad water. And then I'm actually going to put one here that I'm not too worried about. If it gets in, if it gets in. If not, well, that's fine too. But that will prevent the bad water from actually contaminating anything out here if it's touching dirt it goes seven uh the corruption goes seven tiles in every direction it can so if we get this it won't be able to touch dirt the under part of it doesn't count so that should keep this from being corrupted while the water's down i'm gonna go ahead and take these out replace them with the levees and we'll do Dams on top of those. We'll say those are slightly more important. Oop, that would be the wrong way. But now they are slightly more important. There we go. So they can get these two in. I think most of these are good to go back here. So let's open you up. Close you. And now we should start to get some more water again. This might all overflow here. But we should be okay with that. We're starting to get across the map here. So I'm going to go ahead, toss in a couple more of those. That way we can pick up all this lumber that's down here. And hopefully we'll get some down here when they get these stairs in. Well, I was able to get that wall in, but it wasn't until the next drought. So we're going to have to wait for the next one for this to fill up. However, that doesn't mean we can't start working on other things such as go ahead and put some platforms out above this place that should be flooded and we're going to plan for two farmhouses here in fact this will move over to let's put you here and we'll say this is all normal 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 they can fix that up We'll say this is for logs. And of course, come across into there. Then we'll move all the logs from here into here. In fact, there's only two logs in here. So now there's no logs. So we're just going to get rid of it. There we go. And then we will put our farms on top here. Farmhouse. That does cover everything down there, right? Yep. And so do you. Yep, there we go. And then this can actually move over to the other side as well. And we'll just squeeze a little bit more out of the land that way. And we can probably move one of these. So there we go. Let's put you... No, I don't want you there because I'm going to probably need that to spiral up eventually. Since this and this are both going to be underwater during the next flood, let's see if we can do a little planning ahead. We're going to take those two out, and I will put in... Is this a three? That's a three. That's a one, and we will toss in... There's the water. Deep water pump. We'll get those set up. Take out a couple more of these bushes. Uh, turn these stairs. There we go. And that should help us out here. Hopefully. Let's get the road in there. Let's say this bush has got to come out of the... Does that bush have to come out of there? No, that bush doesn't have to come out of there. We'll leave that bush for now. 
And in fact, we'll just do a little bit of water storage right back here. There we go. And as for this, we'll just move it up to, let's say here. Sounds good to me. I'm going to have to move all of this stuff. The farm, which will get moved up here. This farm will get moved over here. These will probably get moved into this area, but I'm also going to have to move this storage here. So we're going to go ahead and put in one here and one there. This one can be for berries. This one can be for the kohlrabis. And I can actually get one more in there. There we go. Once those are in, we'll tell them to empty this. We'll have to redo this probably at some point, but that's okay. We'll get there when we get there. I'm also going to toss in, let's say you can go there. And then we just need this. And that can go there. We'll toss this over to planks whenever they get that all built. Our first farmhouse is up here, so that seems like a good enough time to plan out what we've got for our food up here. Let's get some kohlrabis in. We'll get some cassavas in. And then for soybeans, do we need oil? Yes, we do need oil. So we're actually going to do Let's do more cassavas. We'll just deal with whatever we get. Actually, like a couple more of those. There we go. We'll just work with that for now. Once all this stuff floods out, I think I am safe to take this out. Since it didn't come in under or out of water the entire time, uh, I think it's a good time to say we're probably done with that particular one. We can go ahead and say, don't worry about planting any of that. We might end up adding a farm up here for canola eventually. In fact, we might just do, where's the farm? Let's go ahead and add the farm in. Um, Let's say right here, we'll put a couple in. Uh, I can probably put one there. Which side is the door on? Of course, it's on the wrong side. That's all right. We'll take those two out, put more of the platforms in, and put another farm in here so that they can come across. So I'm going to fix this road. It does not need to be slanted like that. There we go. Nice straight road. Helps the beavers run faster. It doesn't, but, you know, you can always think that. Water is starting to come up here, which means we'll lose a couple of these places here before too long. Uh, I would like these two taken care of so that I can empty out my kohlrabi place. All of these places are done. All of that places are done. And suddenly I have a ton of free beavers there we go. I would like to say empty this. Uh, do I want to keep that? I don't want to keep either of these. So we're going to get rid of both. Let's see. Can I build? It won't let me build over those quite yet. We're just going to say that's Hi, right there, so we can get rid of those. I'm going to take a path around this way. Should be good there. There we go. Get a couple of those in, one of those. And these two can be slightly more important there, so we can get all of our berries consolidated into one we'll say these two are important so we can finally start stockpiling the more 
planks. There we go. Look at that. It is actually starting to work. We've got one and a half days left and our reservoir is more full than it's ever been. In fact, we can go ahead and start putting other stuff in. We'll say all of this can go in. Once those die, we can make sure to get all of those in. Looks like we can go ahead and take out most of this here. That is a box of kohlrabi's underwater. I don't know if anybody is going to be able to pick that up. So, uh, let's just say, there we go. And we'll let them build up on that for a minute. I'm going to have to move my fermenter, though. Let's see, farmhouse, fermenter, here we go. Put you here. We'll put the power wheel behind. And, oh, actually... Do I want to move that up one? I do kind of want to move that up one. There we go. Food. Fermenter. Put you here. And power wheel. There. There we go. And we'll think of something to put there. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Bad tide started. Let's see if I can get my gates up here. There we go. Minimal escape. Not even a thing. It goes right back out. And look, this block is doing its job. Nothing here is corrupted. So we just have bad tide in, bad tide out. I went ahead and took out the fermenters. Let's go ahead and take this out temporarily. We can remove that. We don't need either of those. Or either of these. And we can go ahead, place in all of these here to give us a ton of more room. That's what I can put right there. Well being, let's put a teeth grindstone here. Since they're already next to the forest, we might as well put it in for them, right? set one of these to harvesting one of these to planting they can both do both but hopefully just hopefully uh they even each other out i've managed to get a lot of the stuff off of this main aisle some of the storages all of this stuff we've got a lot of these things in we've moved our forester over here they are working on putting back in the fermenter. We'll probably get another one and an oil press over here eventually to get some more different types of food. We have got all of this set up. They are working on getting the area for these farms set up. But so far, it's looking really good. Next time, I think we're going to come over here and try and work out what we're going to do with the middle of the map. Uh, probably get some metal and try and get all of this off the dry land onto what's going to become a platform town. But I think that'll look nice. It should work just fine. But just want to say thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!